Hello guys and good afternoon. Welcome to the part 2 our lecture in our module 3 entitled Fundamental Calculations in Analytical Chemistry. Now in this part of this in this lecture we will discuss or we will solve the problems involving the stoichiometry density problems and temperature in analytical chemistry which are the fundamental calculations in analytical chemistry. Now let's start with this exercise number 1. A glass vessel weighed 20.2376 gram when empty and 20.3102 gram when filled to an edge mark with water at 4 degrees Celsius. The same vessel was then dried and filled to the same mark with a solution at 4 degrees Celsius. The vessel was now found to weigh 20.3300 grams. What is the density of the solution? So this is a density problem. So ano daw ba ang density ng solution natin? Okay. Now let's go sa paint. Uh, I'm gonna copy here, so and paste it. So ano daw? Uh, ulit. So ano daw ang density ng solution natin? So ano bang given dito? Ano ba natin isolve ng problem nito? Di ba we all know that the density or rho is equals to mass mass all over volume. So saan natin maikita yung mga yan? Paano natin malalaman yung mass and volume of the solution? So unang-una natin tingnan is yung mass. So paano ba natin malalaman yung mass? Mass ng o natin or mass ng solution. Hindi, ulitin natin. Sige. Unahin natin yung volume of the solution. Kasi yun yung binibigyan natin. The volume of the vessel. Now di ba? H mark with water. So 20.33 grams daw yung vessel when empty. So therefore, 20.2376 gram. And kapag kwan daw siya ay, nung nilagyan mo ng tubig at 4 degrees Celsius, siya daw naging 20.3102. So pag mamainusin mo siya. Sir, bakit po ganyan? Kasi nga, kinukuna natin yung mass ng water natin. So yung mass ng water natin, which is, we all know this method sa so may ating laboratory, ito yung weighing by difference. Uh, yung may laman, minus walang laman. So ilan kaya ang may yield natin? 20.3102 minus 20.2376. And ang sagot yan is a i20. 20.2376. Siya ay 0. Siya ay 0. 0. 0.0726 grams. Yan yung mass ng water. Pero ang hinahanap kasi natin dito, guys, is yung volume. So ano ba yung density ng water natin? Ang density ng water, guys, is 1 grams per cubic centimeter. So, in order to calculate for the volume or the cubic centimeter is, kung lang natin, di ba, density is mass per volume. We are getting the volume. So arranging the equation into volume is equals to mass all over density. So therefore, the volume of the empty vessel, kasi ayan, kasi kinuha natin yung mass ng water or volume. Volume, di ba? So ang volume niyan, ayan yung mass ng water. Now, kinuha naman na natin yung volume ng vessel na naka-base doon sa may density ng water natin. So therefore, mass, ano ba yung mass ng water? 0 0.0726 grams all over the density of the water, which is 1.0 grams per cubic centimeter. Now, maka-cancel. So, therefore, the volume of the vessel na naka-base dun sa may volume ng water will be 0 0.0726 cubic centimeter. So, ito yung magiging volume natin dito. What about the mass? Ano ang hinahanap natin mass, guys? Now, ang hinahanap natin kasi mass, guys, is yung mass ng solution natin. So lalagyan ko ang hati dito. Ano daw ba? Kasi di ba hinahanap natin is yung density ng solution. So ano kaya? Now dito sa may problem natin guys, is di ba? Nung we nay, nung nilagyan ng solution, that is 20.33 grams. 20.3300 grams minus the empty vessel, which is ano daw? 20.2376 grams. So therefore, the mass of our solution will be, ano daw? Siya ay 
zero point zero point zero nine two four grams. So ano na ang gibin natin dito? Eto na yung mass ng solution natin. So therefore, the mass of the the density of the solution substitute ng natin that is zero point zero nine two four grams all over the volume, which is zero zero point ah. Eto pang pagkasulat. Zero point zero point zero seven two six cubic centimeter, and meron tayong value na tatama kaya yung sinagot natin. Tutugma kaya, malalaman natin. And ang sagot is one point two seven three. So tumama one point two seven three grams per cubic centimeter. And this now, guys, is the volume of our solution. So, ganun. Okay. Now, let's go on to the next problem. Which is the exercise number two. Okay. The temperature problem natin. Now, at what temperature will the reading in both Kelvin and Fahrenheit scales be equal? That's the same temperature exists Kelvin and Celsius. If so, specify. So the answer daw is yes. Pero paano? So unang-una, tignan natin itong mga scale natin dito. Ang tinitignan natin dito is, ano daw, at one temperature will be Kelvin and Fahrenheit will be equal. Okay. Kukuha natin dito. Ayan. So let's paste it to the paint here. And ayan. So ganun. So, ayan. Kelvin is equal to Fahrenheit. At what scale? Now, let's have a equal here. Uh, dito sa may baba natin, kukuha tayo dito, sa isa dito. Let's see, kunin natin yung boiling point difference between Fahrenheit and Kelvin. So, ibig sabihin, X, this one here, the size of Kelvin X, minus 373. And for the Fahrenheit X, saan ba sila nagtapat? X minus 212. 212. Now, dito naman, guys, is kunin natin dito, saan ba sila nag-difference? 32 dito, between the boiling point. Ayan. So, 212 minus 32. Ay, hindi. 273.15 minus 373. Abaliktad. 373.15 sa ating Fahrenheit. So, therefore, ilan? Ilan yung ating kuha natin? That is a 373.15 minus 273.15. 15 yan guys ha. All over 212. 212 minus 32. We are getting the difference between the zeros or the freezing point and the boiling point of water. Now, let's solve for x. What is x down? Okay. Now, let's solve this one here. x minus 3, 73.15. Supposedly, may point 15 yan, guys. Sorry. Okay. x minus 212. 212. 212. All over 100. All over. Ilan yan? That is a 180. So, 180. So, criss-cross multiplication, uh, we all know this, guys. So, 18x minus, abat ba 18? That's supposed to be 180. 373.15 minus times 180. So, that is 67167 equals 100. Ito, uh, sorry, guys. This is 180x. 180x x ayan 180x 180x all over uh over 100x minus 2100 ayan so lipat natin sa may mga abila natin so 180x uh, minus 100x equals uh negative 21 212 2000 21200 Minus 67 or plus kasi nag-transpose ka from negative magiging positive 617. So equals, okay, equals 
kita. Uh, ano? Ito. Equals, ito ay 80x all over. Ayan. 45,967. So, divided by 80. So, therefore, x is equals, ayun, 574.59. So, ayan. Medyo hindi tayo tumugma dito. Pero, but the point is, kukunin nyo lang yung difference ng mga values natin in order to calculate for that. So, ganun. Ayan. So, that's how you calculate. Now, for your assignment, is kunin nyo naman dito yung ating negative 40. That's the same temperature exists between Kelvin and Celsius and that will be your learning activity. Now guys, wag nyo munang sosolvin yung problem na iyan hanggat hindi ko siya napopost officially sa ating Google Classroom. So let's go on to the problem number 3. Uh, take a screenshot guys and so we can proceed on the exercise number 3. <clears throat> So exercise number three. So our exercise number three here, guys, is involves a mole calculation. Now for dito sa atin is for our problem number three a. Calculate the number of moles in sixty five point six two five grams of calcium sulfate heptahydrate. Remember, guys, this is a mole concept calculations. So ano ba yung formula ng gagamit natin yan? Ito. Di ba alam na alam naman natin yan? That when involving a calculation, dapat meron tayong laging formula or we can use a dimensional analysis of the problem. So ano bang hinahanap sa problem natin dito? The number of moles. So moles yung hinahanap sa atin, guys. Moles ang hinahanap. Moles. And then, ano ang given? Ang given is mass. Ilan daw? 655. This is for problem number 3A. Ah. 65. 655.625 grams. Okay. Now next. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay mass to mole. Ano yung formula ang gagamitin natin? Ito, mass to mole. So, mass times 1 over molecular weight. That will be our formula. Mass times 1 all over molecular weight para makuha natin yung mole natin. So ano ba ang molecular weight natin dito? What is the molecular weight? Kasi may given na tayong value ng mass. Ano ba yung compound na present? Calcium sulfate heptahydrate. So napag-aralan nyo naman yan sa general chemistry ninyo kung paano tayo mag-naming ng mga substance. So calcium sulfate heptahydrate is CaSO4 and Hepta 7H2O. So, syempre, kailangan nyo ng periodic table in order to calculate for the for its molecular weight, di ba? Sum of atomic weight of calcium, sulfur, 4 times of oxygen, and 7 times of H2O. So, therefore, magka-alkylate lang ako ng saglit. And you will yield a... Uh, this will take a second, guys. Wait lang. Siya ay 294, 294.094 grams per mole. 294.094 grams per mole. So therefore, mole is equals to mass. Ano given na mass? 655.625 grams all over 294.094 grams per mole. Mole. Yung mole mapupunta sa taas, maka-cancel yung grams natin, and ilan yung sagot natin? 655.625 divided by the answer, that is a ilan natin? Ang lalabas sa sagot dito guys is 2.23 mole. Sir, ang layo po sa may sagot. Don't worry guys, ang magbibigyan naman ako ng range ng sagot natin. Kasi nga, ano bang nangyari dito sa may problem natin? Kasi nga, nagkakaroon tayo ng mga rounding offs of the problem. Now, isosolve ko siya using, by not using eight decimal points, 
titignan ko ilalabas. Ira-round off ko lang siya. Okay, 6.5.625 pulled over 40 plus 32 plus 16 times 4 plus 18 times 7. Lalabas doon is 2.5. Ngayon, paano bang nangyari yun? Kasi nga, nagra-rounding off ako kanina. Now, try answering the problem here. May error ba akong na-omit dito? Tignan ko nga lang. 40.078 plus 26 plus 15.99 times 4 plus 18 times 7. Okay, my mistake guys. My mistake, my mistake guys. Sorry, sorry. This is not 294. This is not 294. This is not 294. But rather, 262.114 grams per mole. So using the same method, syempre, palitan lang natin ng value to. Pasensya na. 262.114 grams. And ito, using that, ang magiging value natin dito is 655.625. 655.625. So therefore, that is a 2.5 moles. So ayan yung sagot natin. 2.5 moles. Nagkamali lang ako ng input kanina. So that's it. Okay. For letter B. Paano naman kaya natin ika-alculate ang letter B natin? So sabi dyan. Wait lang. Let's erase the one. Let's erase our mess here. So that we can proceed na sa ating one. Okay. For our, pa natin sa ating letter B, calculate the molar volume, the volume in ml, occupied by 8.75 times 10 raised to 20 CO2 molecules at STP. So it is a molar volume. Saan daw ba siya nang galing? We all know these molecules, so siya ay particles kina alkylate yung volume natin. kina alkylate yung volume. So, dalawa itadaanan niya. Particle to mole to volume. So, anong gagawin natin? We can use a dimension analysis na kung saan. Particle. Ayan. So, ikaan ko na lang. So, uh, here. Particle. Papunta sa mole. Papunta sa my molar volume. Now, the gas at STT here. Calculate ko na lang din para hindi, ah, shortcut in ko na lang para tala. Uh, so, that is a, eto, 8.75 times 10 raised to 20 molecules here times 1 on over the Avogadro's number times the molar volume. Ano ba yung molar volume natin dito? All or D? Ayan, no? Punta times ka times the molar volume here. Pero, syempre, mag-shortcut. Huwag na natin yung shortcut. Ganyan lang natin. So, okay. Punta tayo dito. Muna. Particles to mole. Ano magagawin natin, di ba? Abogados number, 8.75 times 10 raised to 20 molecules times 6.022 times 10 raised to 23 uh, molecules, kasi molecules yung given, uh, depende yan guys. So sulat ko na lang molecules per mole here. So makancel lang siya. Makancel. Siya ay ilan? Siya ay 1.453 times 10 raised to negative 3 mole for CO2. Okay. In a usual ko natin, in a usual method, there are methods na ipopropose ko dito. Uh, dalawa siya. Teka lang, bubrahin ko muna ito. Itong isa natin dito. Itong kalat natin dito. Ayan. X and N. Okay. Ikuan ko muna siya. So, paano ba gagawin natin dito? There are two ways of calculating this. Okay, ang method number one here, molar volume kasi natin is 1.453 times 10 raised to negative 3 mole times yung molar volume natin is always constant at 22.414 milliliter per mole. Milliliter, ay liter per mole. Yan ay 22.414 
liter per mole. And ang lalabas dyan, tandaan nyo guys, is always constant, times 22.414 is equals to, syempre ma-cancel yung mole, 0 0.032. 5, 6. Yan yung lumabas. Liter. Pero liter siya. Pero ang answer kasi doon sa ML. So therefore, di ba, we all know this. 1 liter is equals to 1,000 ML. So therefore, cancel, cancel, and you will yield a 32.56 milliliter. That's for method 1. For method 2 naman, uh, using the ideal gas equation such as PB and RT, we are Solving for the volume, so volume is equals to nRT all over the pressure. Now, ano ba yung mga constant values natin at STP? Di ba? Alam naman natin yan. So, ano ba yung given na mole? Ito yung mole natin. At STP, sabihin ko na rin, uh, the pressure is 1 atm. The temperature is 273.15 Kelvin. Okay. Now, 1.453 times 10 raised to negative 3 moles times the R constant, which is 0 0.08206 liter ATM all over moles per Kelvin. Pinag-aralan niya yan nung high school. And temperature at STP is 273.15 Kelvin all over ilan yung ka natin, that is ATM. So cancellation of units, ATM, ATM, mole, mole, Kelvin, Kelvin, and you will yield a Ah, uh, dito lang natin ilagay. Dito na lang natin ilagay sa guys. So sorry. So solvein natin, syempre. Although ganun din naman ang lalabas, di ba? Let's get 3 times 0 0.08266 times 273.15 273.15 times 1 atm on i 32.56 0 0.032.56 liter times mo sa 1000, you will yield a 32 M so, ayun. so take a screenshot guys and so we can proceed on our next problem. Okay. For letter C. Calculate the mass of a sample of calcium oxalate containing 275, 2.75 times 10 raised to 20 oxygen atoms. So how do we calculate for this? Ayan. Okay. It is a atoms to mass. Diba? Anina. Diba? Sa ating mole concept is, diba? Itong problem na ito is particle to mass. So it is a particle. So tatlo'y dadaanan. Dadaan ka sa particle, sa mole, and mass. So how do we calculate for that? So we will use this method here. Now let's go on. And the capitis ko na siya. Dito. Okay. So how do we calculate for this one here? Okay. Calculate natin. Here, uh, so 2.75 times 10 is to 20 oxygen atoms. Diba? Times, ano din nasa formula? 1 over a n. Ano ba a n? Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 raised to 20 atoms per mole. Ayan. Times, ito, oxalate dito. So magkakaroon tayo ng moles here. Pero may twist dito. Calcium oxalate. What is the formula of calcium oxalate? Diba? Co-convert natin. That is CAC2O4. All over, we are canceling the mole atom. Ilang, mo, ilang atoms ba ng oxygen na meron sa calcium oxalate? There are four. So therefore, four moles of oxygen atom in order to cancel, 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 cancel. Now, nandito na tayo sa may moles. Punta naman tayo sa may mass natin, sa may mass. Ayan. Times the molecular weight. Diba? Times the molecular weight in order to convert the mole into mass. Ano bang paanin natin dito? Anong mas ang gagawin natin? natin? Is it the oxygen or calcium oxalate? The answer is calcium oxalate kasi siya yung natitira and siya yung hinahanap sa problem natin. So therefore, um, ika-alculate ko lang saglit kung ano ang mas ng calcium oxalate natin para tayo ikuan. So 16. 
times 4. And that will be 128, 128.078 or 128 na lang. I-round up na lang natin grams per mole. Alimot ako maglagay ng mole siya po. So, ma-ansil yung mole, makapag-yield ng grams, and ilan kaya yung sagot natin dyan. So, 2.75 times 10 raised to 20 times 1 all over 6.022, the Avogadro's number, times D1 over 4 times 128. And meron tayong 0 0.0146 gram. Yung nasagot milligram. So, ta times nyo lang siya ng 1,000, di ba? 1,000 milligram. Ah, uh, okay. Punda natin dito. Isagot natin, di ba? 0 0.0146 grams. Convert sa milligram, di ba? There are 1,000 milligram per 1 gram. So, ikaw na natin. Cancel. That is 14.6 milligrams. So, that will be the answer for our kanal. So that's for the basic calculations of our ka natin, ng ating mga lecture for the mole concept. So for the next part of our lecture, pupunta naman na tayo sa my stoichiometry. Stoichiometry problems natin, which involves a chemical reactions and a guided by the given flowchart. So that will be on the part 3 of our lecture kasi magpapahinga muna ako. Okay, thank you guys for listening and see you on the next part of our lecture. and. Goodbye again.